The web and your website, of course, can contain more than just text and images, which is why I want to create a new page and add video to it that's also responsive. So first thing I need to do is create a new page. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to save this index page as my About page because on this About page, I'm going to have a video and then some other content. First off, let's kind of switch over some things. I need to highlight the About button and turn off the Home button and change out some of this content. In fact, if I click on it right down here, it's going to highlight it. I can see my Home button. This class is set to Active, so that's the class that makes it look highlighted. So I'm going to cut that. Command X, Control X if you're on a, a PC, and then Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to make sure the href isn't that pound sign, but it links back to that index.html. As I start to type that in, I get code hinting, selecting that just by hitting Enter, and that is good to go. I can even close that index.html. You can see that's highlighted now as well. So right down here, I can start to change some of this content as well. I can see it right here. What can I create for you? Well, this is now the About page. So. Typing in about Paul, there we have it, and I need to drop in some text in here. So I'm actually going to open up on my desktop. There's an exercise files folder. If you have access to it, you will find in the assets folder content HTML. So really I'm just stealing or copying some of this content right down here actually. It's this line, a couple of these lines, this line here. That's what I'm going to take and just paste in there. There's more in there, but this is all I really need. Just copying this command C or control C, coming back over here, selecting this paragraph right here, pasting it in just like that. And you can see there's that text. Okay, so, so far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and drop in the video now, and I'm just going to remove that header because, quite frankly, that's where I want to put my video. So remove that header right in here. That's where I want to add my video. How do I do that? Well, it's pretty awesome because if you go into your insert panel, into Bootstrap Components, you'll see right over here, Responsive Video Embed. Fantastic. Selecting that will actually insert it. And then just make sure you save all. Just save that file. Just make sure everything's in its proper location. And let's preview this. In our browser, there's our video. It happens to be responsive. I can scale down my browser. You can see the video scales as well. And my content right down here is all squared away. So let's kind of tweak a lot of this because we have some things going on. First off, this isn't the correct video. I have this gap right here. I need to remove this line and I can even consider removing the background. So let's do all of those things right now. First off, let's take a look at that space right there at the top. So if I click on it, it says right in here, padding top 70 pixels. Let's try 50. Thank you very much. That is good. Scrolling down, even for some of this content right here, this H2 tag, well, kind of don't really need that. That's left over. Let's remove that. Even for that background, well, how do I overwrite that background or how do I apply, say, for instance, a different background for this About page? Well, how you do that, and this is actually just really cool, by going to the CSS Designer panel and right in here, selecting this plus button because I can define CSS right in this page. Remember, cascading style sheets will flow from the top down. So as long as I have the latest or the lowest page background is set to something else, then that's what will happen. So that's the style that gets added to this page. It's actually right up here. And in fact, what am I going to do? I'm going to add a new body tag. So typing in body right there, hitting enter twice, and going to the background. This is where I can kind of define a new background. I have this background about. Okay, so this is just simpler. I like it better than the other one. It happens to be my assets folder. You can use any image that you want. 
opening that up, it's going to ask me to copy it to a folder within my local site. So just put it in images just like that. And we're pretty well squared away. We can kind of see that image down there. But I like getting that preview of that image before the video loads in. But let's take a look at the video now, right? So essentially, I'll go back into my code. For my video, it's really just changing a path, okay? But it might get a little tricky in there right here. Here's my source. This is what I need to change. So this source, this is the path that I need to replace. So I need to make sure that it's an embed path. So quite frankly, I'm going to use YouTube because honestly, that's the sort of biggest name in the game. I'm going to jump out to YouTube right now. And here I am on YouTube. This is just the video that I'm going to use. This is the about video. And you don't want to grab this URL. What you want to do is you want to go down here for any video and you want to select share and you want to go into the embed. And it's this URL that you want. Okay, so this embed, make sure it says that. And of course, that code right there. So command C to copy. That's the only thing I need. Because again, this is not responsive. And I'll just go back in here and replace it right there, okay? And what you can do, you do that for any video in the content HTML. Notice that that link is right here as well, so you can copy it from there. Just showing you how to get it from YouTube. And with that done, I can go ahead and save everything and preview in Chrome in this case. There's the video. It's responsive. I'm going to play it and I'm going to mute it. So video plays, again, much more dynamic than just, you know, reading about the person, but you can always have text down there. I think the last little tweak I'm going to make is make sure this stuff looks good as I scale it up and scale it down. I'm noticing that as I've added this video, I can't actually scroll down and read that text. So actually, you need to add just a little bit of padding, but I think this looks fantastic. Super easy to add, thanks to Bootstrap. Obviously, I can change that anytime I want, but let's just do that last little tweak right down here for this section right. Happens to be in our styles, CSS. We can see it over here, section right. That's actually what I need to add. I just need to adjust some margin on the bottom. So just click and drag. Now let's make it about 100 pixels. And now I can actually scroll down further and that will work out fantastic. With that done, save everything. I encourage you, again, just to go ahead and use these bootstrap components. They're fantastic because they allow you to embed content and they have responsive content as well.